Uh, how do you mentor someone in computing or game dev in general? Um, uh, I do this a lot. I um, I basically used to tutor at Coder Dojo uh, back when I had a desktop job. Um, I basically I worked in a bank and I'd spend my free time teaching game dev to because there's a nearby college, and they'd bring in the the you know between the ages of 12 to I'd say 15, and they would we teach them Scratch and a few other different uh, like JavaScript and a few other different things similar style um kind of entry-level program with a bit of javascript as well um so long story short how, how do you how do you effectively tutor someone in this kind of topic um in my opinion it's engagement you find something they enjoy and that's why games are so easy to tutor people in because basically give them a fun sandbox and let them play with it um so what i tend to do is i pick something like scratch because it's so easy to get up and running and you can just give something very quick code to play with. If it's more about how do you mentor or train someone in a kind of more technical capacity, uh, then I always recommend challenges and tasks. So for example, I tend to direct people to Pluralsight. I will, I'll be there to be on hand and answer questions, like literally now when people have questions, but I tend to not like hovering over people because what you'll find if you tutor people in a one-to-one -one session, um, it can be very, uh, very overwhelming and you'll notice yourself if you're learning something if somebody's basically sitting there going i'm here to answer all your questions and i'm hovering over your shoulder ready to answer and pounce when you have something get something wrong <laughs> and it makes people feel very self-conscious so what i prefer to do instead is i find resources i like and that's why i, I tend to, to reference resources a lot so for example if you click my name and go to my youtube channel i have a playlist of good resources on multitudes of topics i tend to point people at that and i say here is stuff i'm here to answer questions if you actually have questions on these topics um, so yeah, long story short, tell them to get a Pluralsight uh, account. You hand pick and cherry pick relevant topics that you want them to learn. You give that to them and then you answer questions. And then when they're done and you're confident they understand the course material, you up the ante by saying, okay, can you take that and now change it to do this? And that way you sort of give them constant engagement and quick wins, you know? So yeah. there's a long winded question of how I personally like to tutor people, get them engaged in the topic, uh, give them small wins they can do repeatedly and move on to different areas uh, with sort of branching out. And if, if you want to see a very good example of this, uh, as mentioned in the previous chat, is coding train. And mm -hmm. I'll, I'll type it in as well because I know people have a bit of trouble understanding when I'm uh, ranting. But coding train is a YouTube yeah. channel where um, it's, it's just fantastic incremental steps of learning very complicated topics. So that's my recommendation. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, I personally don't work well under pressure. So, you know, in situations when if I try to put myself into the shoes of the individual I'm tutoring, you know, I can remember back to when I was in university and, and being tutored. And it's like, it's not it wasn't fun for me to be put on the spot like that. Um, and it's funny, too, because it's like, you you're, you're in a situation where you're not expected to know because clearly you're being tutored. Yet, you're still like, I got to know this, you know, like, why am I not fast enough? Why am I not picking this up? So that, I mean, personally, that's where I, I do agree with your approach, Jason, where you're just like, hey, look, do this task, you know, and then we can talk about it afterwards. It's a low pressure situation. And I think that it that's more conducive to learning. So, um, yeah, I'm providing resources as well. And actually, it plays into another question added here is, uh, what do you think the right balance is when asking for guidance and doing tasks when mentoring a junior? Um, I think it falls into the same thing, right? Because if you put yourself in the feet of somebody who's in a junior position, it's working under you or new to a team, um, they're going to do their best to be helpful. They're literally going to be sitting there going, please give me work to do. I want to do it. I want to help. But truth be told, almost every time you do, they're going to be overwhelmed. And when you do that, um, they're going to be sitting there in their chair panicked going, I can't do the thing I was assigned. And I'm looking across my table at the person I'm working with and they're really busy and I don't want to freak them out. <laughs> and like, take their time away, they're important and I'm not, and you sort of get really uh, stressed about it. So you want to avoid that situation for both parties. You don't want to, you don't want them monopolizing your time by asking lots of questions. You also don't want them stressed out that they can't ask you questions. So this comes back to the same thing. I recommend giving them guides and other things to work on. Give them a plural site course, let them play with it and work on that, and then be there to answer questions after they have finished the course. If they haven't demonstrated they've done the course, then they shouldn't need your attention because the material is in the course. If um, you can be there to help answer the question time to time, but that's the perfect mix of let them get a base level of knowledge. So, you know, if they completed the course and you have also completed the course in the past, you know what level they should be at, which is now a good place for you to propose relating that to your current project or kind of expecting um, a certain level of understanding from them. 
So same thing applies is be aware that they're probably either too afraid to ask you questions or they'll have a lot of questions for you. So give them something they can actually achieve that steps them closer to being better at helping you in what you're doing. So you're saying do the course first before you commence the real tutoring? Yeah, literally every course I've ever recommended, every plural site course I've pointed at, I have completed myself. I have, I've watched hundreds and hundreds of hours of plural site. I've watched almost every course on C Sharp they've done, right down to the learning C Sharp and learning, uh, you know, equality operators and all the, the kind of entry level stuff. Because if I'm going to recommend it to people, I want to know what's in it. You know? Yeah. Yeah.